Welcome back, everybody, to Appear on Galactic Survival on Reforged Seed, and I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue working our way towards a Zeretl. Uh We are working on the Dead Planet quests, so we have currently uh, found 1, 2, 3, and 6. We are still looking for 4 and 5. Uh, along the way, we are working on... Uh, trying to find a platinum asteroid, so we're checking all the systems as we go. And um, our more, I guess you would call, midterm goal is that we're working our way towards Zeretl because that's uh, where Object 1 is uh, for the next part of that quest. So we kind of have a, a few things going on all at the same time. Uh, before we do anything else, I do, I do want to just kind of announce to everybody that I'm just very busy right now with my with my real job. Um, on my Discord, I call it Work Simulator, <laughs> and so I just haven't had a lot of time uh, to you know to make videos. So uh, if you're wondering why you're not seeing them as frequently as normal, that's the reason why. Um, it's going to be fairly busy for me for the next several weeks, but I will do the very best that I can you know to to try and keep getting the videos out to you guys. It's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, every day or maybe not even every other day, but we'll try and we'll try and do two or three a week um, uh, for the next few weeks. And then we'll just kind of see where things go. So I just want to let everybody know that it's not like I'm, you know, not going to do it anymore or anything like that. It's just a matter of managing time. Um, I am nowhere even close to the point where I can quit my day job. And so I've got to do my day job. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to make sure everybody was aware of that and appreciate uh, your patience as we... Uh, you know, continue to go and out and seek the stars in this adventure. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> don't even, don't even pay attention to me. Oh uh, man, a little scatterbrain uh, today. A little scatterbrain thing. All right. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Delazor here. We want to see if we can find um, the uh, huh? Wait a minute. Really? This is as far in as I, I can zoom. Um. So here, let's look. Let's look at it again. System map. So this is just okay. So this is just an exploration site. Uh, sensors pick up faint subspace signals coming from this sector, and there's one copper asteroid. So yeah, I don't uh, think we really. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Okay, hold on. There is something way out that way. But again, it's like just an exploration site class two. I mean, I guess it's kind of on the way. We could stop there, but um, whoops. So we're going that direction. Um, can we reach? We can reach Thigata, Thigata, Thigata. Yeah, right. So we can reach that. Let's let's just take a look and see what's there really quick. Um, so, wait, what? Okay. No information available. Oh, oh, I see. That's right. We got, we've got to go there first before we can see what's there. My bad. Sorry. Uh, I know, I knew that, but like I said, my brain's just not quite firing on all cylinders today. All right, well, in that case, let's go ahead and just jump to uh, Delazor since it's the next one, and then um, we'll see what's going on there. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, for for a minute there, I was like, could, couldn't figure out why I wasn't seeing anything, but you can't see the planets um, in a system until you visit that system. So that's what's going on there. We got the ship all repaired in the last episode, which was actually a live stream. Uh, so we got that done. Is our shields off? Yes, they are. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. So yeah, we got that done. Um, we we repaired we we repaired to template, and we also got um, all of the blocks repaired. So that was was good. Um, in terms of live streaming, just so you guys know, if you want to catch me on a live stream, uh, which currently I'm doing on Twitch, uh, though I am considering maybe moving live streaming to YouTube, but I haven't made that decision yet. Uh, but anyway, if you want to catch me, um, generally speaking, I'm trying to live stream on the weekends. I just not really do it during the week because, you know, I'm really busy with work and that sort of thing, at least for now. Uh, so if you want to catch me on a live stream, I'm trying to do Saturday afternoons and early evenings um, 
Friday um, early evenings and Sunday, maybe Sunday afternoons. That, that's kind of what what just happened. I just got out of my chair. Uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to shoot for for right now. So if you guys want to catch me uh, on that, that'd be great. Uh, in terms of what I'm live streaming, I'm live streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. I have done one live stream of Imperion and I might do some more. And I'm also live streaming uh, Minecraft on Friday night because I play with my daughter and then um, Undead Legacy. So seven days that I Undead Legacy. So we'll just, I, I'm not, I don't have a set schedule on a specific game at this point. It's just, that's kind of, you know, the stuff that I'm doing right now. So anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and open up our map here and take a look and see what we got going on. All right, so that's a hard Xerax Empire POI, but there's a lot of plants that we can check and a few uh, asteroid belts too. So we want to go to uh, here. So let's look at the furthest out one first. Okay, so we've got we got a couple of Arrestrum um, asteroids, which is pretty good. We might think about that. We'll have to look and see how much Arrestrum we have on hand. I don't see anything there. Well, we got some ice there, but I think we're doing okay on ice for the moment. Uh, okay, so let's look at this inner one. So we got uh, two titaniums and some promethium. I think we're okay on promethium there. There's one, uh, looks like magnesium, I think. All right, let's take a look at the um, moons here. We'll just kind of squirt down through here and see what's there. Honestly, I'm not even sure what a... Uh, um, a platinum asteroid even looks like. So I'm, I'm just kind of looking for something that's different than what I'm used to seeing. Uh, and hope, hopefully I don't, you know, miss, miss one along the way. All right. I don't see anything here. Um, there are no dead planets in the system. As far as I can tell, I don't think there's dead moons. Um, so what is, what is this? This is a, uh, yeah, that's a lava moon. Volcanic moon. That could be interesting to look at. Um, so, and I guess, you know, from what you guys were telling me, platinum only is in the form of asteroids. It's not like a deposit on a planet somewhere. If that is not true, let me know. But that's the assumption that I'm working under right now. Okay, let's go ahead and just make sure we're lined up with Zeretl and we'll continue to work in that or uh, go in that direction. So let's go to, can we get to this? Aramarith place next. Okay, so that's uh that's eleven light years from here. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit that place. Uh, looks like we need to go this way. So at some point, um, you know, I'm I want one of my my more long term goals for this series. And, you know, this is, hasn't changed. It's been this way all along. Is I want to find a really cool planet that we can build our, like, our permanent base on. And um, the thing about that, though, is to find a really cool planet, we need to actually start visiting the planets. But, you know, I want to I wanna maybe try and mostly focus on getting the dead planet mission done first. And I know there's a second part to it, which you guys say is pretty hard to do. Um, and, you know, work towards object one as we continue on. But at some point here, I do really need to start looking at, at actual, you know, places for us to live. Because that is a major goal that I have in this series. Okay, so let's see. Do we have, yeah, we do have a dead planet here. And it is a type three, which we don't need. So we're looking for four and five. Okay. Okay. So I don't see any other dead planets in this system. So let's just check quickly for um, asteroids. Oh, we were going to look at our supply of Arrestrum. Let's just take a quick look at that. Main input. Uh, so let's see. We've got over 2,000 ingots here. What do we have in the output? Oh, and over almost 6,000 here. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're fine on Arrestrum. We don't need any Arrestrum right now. That's plenty. That might be enough to last us for the entire rest of the playthrough. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's check uh, for for um, uh, asteroids here. We're looking for platinum asteroids, so nothing there. Got another asteroid field here. 
uh, but I'm not seeing uh, anything there. Okay, let's look at the planets. Nothing there. Yeah, um, still not seen it, and I'm starting to see what you guys were saying about how rare these things are, because we have yet to come across one. If you happen to ever see me mouse over one of these play fields and it pops up and I missed it, definitely let me know in the comments. Because, I mean, at this point, I would turn around and, and backtrack to go get it. Um, all right, well... I guess that's it for this system. Not really anything to look at. Uh, what kind of planet is this? That's a crystalline moon, yeah. I mean, that could be a, a fun place to visit, but I don't think it's a place we would want to actually live. That's also a crystalline moon. That's a nascent moon. Those are pretty drab and dreary, as I recall. Sandy Barren Moon. That's a very large arid planet. Yeah, that is a huge planet. Huh. One thing I was thinking about is I, I really kind of like the jungle planets in Project Eden. I know that they can be kind of... Um, you know, uh, um, empty, I guess is the word in terms of POIs and stuff, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, the, the plus side to that is you don't ever have to worry about getting attacked by the enemy. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of like the, uh, varnished barren moon. That's weird. Um, I just kind of like the, the feel of them, you know, they're just kind of neat. So we might consider that, but I know, you know, Project Eden has a lot of very, um, a lot of variety is what I'm trying to say in the planets. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we look around before we make any any decisions on our long-term place. This varnished moon business, that just sounds weird, man. Um, so from a curiosity perspective, I'm thinking about maybe checking it out. Um, so that's the barren, that's a lava that's a crystal. And where did we see the varnished moon? Was it over here? Barren. Varnished barren moon. So this is Shidasmo 2, moon 1. Let's just go look at it for the hell of it, right? Why not? We're, we're exploring here. We're not on a super tight schedule. We'll take our time and just check it out. I'm just curious what a varnished moon looks like. Maybe we'll get there and it'll be boring as hell. And then we'll know for next time, right? Or maybe we'll get there and there will be something that will have made it worth traveling to to check out. Probably not, but you never know. So uh, let's go check it out. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know this, I live in Colorado and I woke up this morning and had probably I'd say a good 10 to 12 inches of snow on the ground. So I spent the first hour of my day shoveling snow. Um, my my neighbor has, has a snow blower, so he, he came out like... Here, hold on. Before I, before I continue blabbing here, which moon do we need to go to? We need to go to moon one. This one here. Okay. Um, so, anyway, um, I have a, a daily call at 9 a.m. Uh, with my department for work. And so uh, it was getting to pretty close to time to, to get on the call, and I wasn't quite done. So my neighbor, he, he came out and he with a snowblower and said, hey, you want me to finish your sidewalk? And I said, sure. <laughs> I said, Thanks, man. Very kind of him to do that. So even with that, though, it still took me almost an hour to shovel everything and get, uh, get the sidewalk sanded because we had a lot of ice out there. So anyway, a little insight into old guy's real life experiences we've got a, some nasties up there um do we have any big nasties around yeah we got one big nasty over there but he's he's not very close to us so iron asteroid 
All right, so what are we looking at? We're going to, we're going towards a, a varnished moon. Is that what it was? It's moon one, varnished barren moon. The co this copper rich moon has a very thin atmosphere. It's shielded by an unusually large magnetic field of the nearby planet, and the moon is dense enough to keep some gases from drifting into space. By this, it has accumulated extreme amounts of desert varnish. What exactly is desert varnish? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard the term desert varnish before. But we'll check it out. So supposedly lots of copper. I only saw actually two copper deposits, though. It does kind of have a bit of a copperish look to it. Desert varnish. I'm going to have to Google that. You guys know what that actually means? It's not a term I've ever heard. Yeah, it definitely, definitely looks like copper. You know, it kind of has that brownish, greenish tint to it. Okay, so we got a Xerax support base. Um, so yeah, we've got, oh, I guess we have seven copper. I must've been looking at the asteroids. So yeah, there's lots of copper. This would be a good place to come mine copper if you wanted to. Um, let's just go down a little closer and take a quick peek so we can say we've been been there and done that. Got a drone over there. So yeah, kind of deserty deserty looking what do we shoot Matt cannon drone pretty barren not a place that I think I would uh, enjoy a uh, living but it's not quite as drab as your typical barren moon at least radar signature Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and head on back up to space and continue our journey. Now we know what a desert varnish moon looks like. And to be honest with you, I can't say I'm super impressed. <laughs> but at least my curiosity has been satiated. If you ever need copper, folks, this is where you need to come. All right, let's take a look-see at our galaxy map here. And again, make sure we're lined up on Zeretl. Close enough. And the next planet we can jump to, can we get to this Lelouth? Yeah, that's only 12 light years away. There's kind of a bunch of planets in, the, in a little bit of a cluster here, so it probably would be, be, whoop, would be worth our while to check all of them for, um, uh, for uh, platinum. So let's just go ahead and jump to this one next. Do we have any nasties really close to us? No, I think we're good. Okay. All right, where's our warp indicator? It's over this way. I really hope that someday they change the warp indicator to a different color besides orange or change the waypoints to a different color besides yellow. That would be useful. Looks like we're going to need to eat some food here in a second. So let's just chow down on some sandwiches. And uh, I must have looted those from the... 
Why did why did I my suit just shimmer like that? That was weird. Did you guys notice that? Back up the video if you want to. But uh, my suit like just shimmered. Weird. Okay, so yeah, that see, look at it, look at it, it's shimmering. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? <laughs> I've never noticed that before. I've never noticed that before. Weird. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at this system. We got a red asteroid belt. Very interesting. Okay, so... That is... Uh, Mephudden? The medium difficulty. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, you know, just looking for platinum uh, asteroids again. Nothing. I'm not seeing anything jump out of me that's different than the norm. So I'm assuming we still haven't found him yet. So these must be crystalline moons. Yeah. The purple moons seem to be crystalline. All right. Well, um, let's continue then our journey here. I don't think there's anything here for us to to look at. So we're just going to go right next door. Uh, I guess we could check this Samobber's place. Okay. Where's our where's our arrow? There. Oh, it's right in front of us. Nice. Our little repair um, station worked really well uh, during the last stream, so that was awesome. Let's just turn this way. I don't know why we're turning that way, because we might end up having to jump through the sun anyway. Okay. Let's put our inertials on, too. Let's take a look-see. So we've got three asteroid fields here. Okay, and this one here, nothing, not a thing. Those all appear to have the same exact asteroids in the same number, which is a little unusual. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Never mind, because it's the same play field. These are just moons. Okay, um, nothing there. There's a copper asteroid there. Um, is this a dead planet here? It is, and it is a type 2, which we do not need. We need a 4 and a 5, right? Yeah. Okay, nothing here. Let's move on. So Zeretl is that way. So we're kind of heading the wrong direction, but that's okay. We, we want to kind of, I'm just going to really check everything in this cluster here. So uh, we could go to Solipsilis or we could go to Aeliamoth. Aeliamoth. Yeah, let's go to Aeliamoth because why not, right? Almost pointing at it. Okay, let's take a look. It's a little bit larger system here. So we got silicon roids there. We've got sathium and some other stuff there. What do we got here? All the same usual things. Okay, so yeah, I'm not seeing any 
anything that looks like it might be platinum. Did we look all the way out here? Yeah, I think so. And I don't see any dead planets. What's this yellow planet? It's just a barren? Oh, okay. Those are all just deposits on the moons. Okay, well, nothing here. Let's continue on. This is going to be kind of a chill episode, guys. Probably not going to really do much of anything else, but keep looking. Um, just kind of the way it goes. It's either I record this or I don't record anything for a while, and then you guys don't get any content. So I want to at least hang out with you for, you know, for a little bit here. Okay, so let's see. We want to kind of go back towards... Oh, shit. No, we want to go this way. But I checked. Uh, um, so that way. Okay. Um, let's go back to, I guess what we could do is hit these three stars and then kind of jump back over towards this cluster. I don't want to get too far off the beaten path, though, is the thing. So let's check Halfarego. Halfarego. These names, man. Procedurally generated names. Some of them aren't too bad, actually. It's then other, others are like, okay, how do, how do I wrap my tongue around that? <laughs> It's crazy. All right, let's take a look. All right, I don't see any dead planets in this system. There is a <clears throat> a Zascosium uh, asteroid there, which is kind of cool. Right, let's go here. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Did we catch everything? I think we did. Okay. Uh, yeah, no dead planets. No asteroids. Uh, platinum asteroids, as far as I can tell. So, time to move on. Okay, so we want to go this way-ish. One of you guys um, mentioned in the comments a while back that if I if I put a, a warp target on Zeretl, it puts the arrow on the map. The problem with that, though, is that that disappears as soon as I warp to another place. So that's why I prefer to just kind of, you know, click on it to, to zoom in. So I'm going in that general direction rather than do the warp arrow. Because, again, the warp arrow is not going to stay on there. Okay, well, let's see. We were kind of working this cluster here, but then we got more this way. So it's almost like six of one half does the other, you know. No way we would ever, ever, ever be able to check all of these locations. Let's go to this... Um, Bifrenari. There we go, Bifrenari. Maybe what we need to do is have some kind of a contest to see if old guy can pronounce the planets correctly. And uh, for all of them that I, I pronounce correctly, um, I get a prize? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to think about how that would actually work. It wouldn't, we'd have to do it. We'd have to actually do it so you guys pronounce it. The problem is, though, is that you would have to do that in uh, text-based chat, which would be a little awkward. So I'm not sure how that would work. All right, here we go. Let's check. Let's see what we got. Pretty sparse system. No dead planets. Um, but let's take a look and see if we can locate some meteorites. Ooh, there's two Zascosiums there. And I'm not seeing uh, anything else. All right. How, how much Zass do we actually have? Let's just look. So we got uh, almost 4,000 in the output. And we've got 2,400 plus 33 alloys in here. Yeah, I mean, 
we could mine some more of that, I guess, but I don't know that we really need to. Uh, what we do need, though, is we need to get some more pentaxin in our tank here. So let's go to fuel output. Choose our pentaxin tank and load this back up. So we have 917 promethium hydrocells. Nice. How is the fuel on the ship in general? It's at 72%. Let's go ahead and top it off. Wow. <laughs> you use so much fuel. Oh my goodness. Uh, do we have any ice left to continue making uh, more of this? Let's take a look-see in our fuel input. We do not. So, but I mean, we're doing pretty good on fuel at the moment. I might want to consider hitting some um what is that doing in the input hitting some more ice at some point here fairly soon i don't think we need to do it immediately those two guys need to go in there we could probably uh, process some more pentaxid um so why don't we do that here, i'm just gonna do a couple more stacks a couple three more stacks okay Let's move along here. So we've checked everything here, I believe. Uh, let's line up on Zaretl again. Pretty close. All right, let's go kind of towards, this is still the cluster I wanted to check, but I don't know, I mean, I don't know if that's really worth it. We should probably just keep moving towards Zaretl because we're gonna run into clusters everywhere we go and we'll just check stuff that's generally in our path. That's probably the, the wisest course of action here, I would say. So yeah, I'm um, I'm certainly open to to possibilities for our permanent home, but I kind of like the you know the jungle forest you know moon of indoor type of vibe for a place to live. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see what we, we run into as we continue exploring here. Okay. So we got a pretty large system here. Um, let's start with this asteroid belt out that way. Nothing there, nothing there. That's interesting. Why are there three asteroids here that don't have an icon? Hmm. That's very suspicious. Oh, map common ore site resource. We might have to investigate that, you guys. We might have to investigate that because you know maybe it's the maybe the platinum asteroids don't have an icon. We're gonna go take a look at that. What kind of planet is this blue? Oh, it's an ocean planet. Ooh, I like ocean planets too. Uh, the last time I did Imperium Multiplayer on Project Eden, we were on an ocean planet. They're they're kind of a pain in the butt in some ways, but they're I, I just like the vibe from them, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's go check this out. That's got my curiosity peaked for sure. It's suspicious, man. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Look at that view, man. I love it. Uh, Pentaxid asteroid. Okay, let's get our shield on, first of all. All right, let's take a look. So we've got a bunch of stuff here, just kind of a big cluster. Um, if we go back to here again for a second, and we go to the orbit map. See, I'm wondering if that's a it says common ore site resource i wonder if that's a like a mining thing i'm a doodle i don't know well let's go ahead and move towards it so it's basically right behind us there's a xerax trading station over there look at that planet with those rings i like that that is neat 
Okay, let's flip her around. That would be awesome if we found like three platinum asteroids right next to each other. I don't think that's what this is gonna be though, but we don't we won't know for sure until we get there, so. Got about eight clicks or so to get out there. Yeah, that's a neat view. I love it. Really like that view. That's cool. Lots of good eye candy here in Project Eden. If nothing else. Whoops. Accidentally tapped out of my screen there. Um, how close are we to Zeretl? So we're 122 light years away. So we're getting close. That's only, I mean, as the crow flies, that's only about four more jumps. But if we can get some platinum, then we could get, uh, yeah, see, that's not, not platinum. Well, common ore site. Let's just see what that means. That actually is. Um, if we can get some platinum, you know, then we can upgrade our warp drive to go twice the distance, 60 light years, and that will certainly help with our traveling. That's what we're trying to do. Laser sentry, ion sentry, common ore site. So does that mean that this is a Xerox mining operation? I think an ion sentry is probably going to do a number on our shields. Common ore site. But I am a little curious as to what exactly is on that common ore site asteroid. Alright, why don't we just kind of cautiously get a little closer and you know maybe take a little bit of fire from these sentries and see how much damage they could do you know what that we might be able to we might be able to take them out one at a time so why don't we see if okay so wait a minute the laser sentry the the ion sentry directly in front of us is the closest Sentry. All right, let's take a look at of our at our uh, rules of engagement here really quick. I don't remember what that's set to at the moment. So NPC factions, creatures, drones, players, bases, turrets. Okay, we'll apply that to the group here. So these are our big guns, right? No, these are our little guns. No, they're not. Wait a minute. What? Minigun. I thought, didn't I group? Oh, that's right. When I when I uh, repaired the ship to template, I lost the groupings because it's back to the groupings it had before then. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just use, we'll just train, try and train everything on the turrets so we want generators uh, turrets in particular all right um did i apply those to the group let's go look maybe i did okay now we did so what we're going to try and do is we're going to see if we can hit this you know focus fire on this ion sentry first because it's the closest and just see what happens here So let's see, we've got a range of 900. Okay, so it's hitting us. Did we blow it up? Uh, I think we did. Did we? No, I think it's still there. Kind of hard to say for sure. No, it's still there, yeah. Okay. Man, that sucker's tough, isn't it? So 
So my turrets are no longer firing, so I take that to mean that sentry's down. Yeah, because it no longer says Xerax Ion Sentry, it just says Ion Sentry. Okay, I think we can do this. Um, what's the next closest one? We got one that's 1.3, and the laser sentry is 1.6. So let's target the la laser sentry next. In fact, am I? I'm just barely out of range here. There we go. Send some rockets right into it. Boom. And it's down. One hit. Okay, nice. Uh, we got 1.3 there, 1.9, 1 1.6. Uh, 1 1.3 ion sentry that way too. So let's hit this ion sentry next. within 975 meters right there and it's shooting at us and it's down we must have just missed the first one with our rockets because the rockets are obliterating these things that's probably what happened okay uh let's see what's next we've got a uh, we just need to look at the ones that say xerax or have the xerax tag on them so we have a laser sentry Two laser sentries and an ion sentry left. It looks like uh, the laser is the closest one uh, down here. Get a fresh uh, squirt there. See, now I'm I'm hitting that sucker, but that one took more fire to bring down. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. Two, two to go. So we got an ion at 1.2 and a laser at uh, 1.5. What's, uh, what's that other thing up there? Okay, that's an ion that we already took out. Just got in range of that guy. He's got us down to 70 on the shields. There he goes. Right when I pulled the trigger, he went he went out. Okay, one more to go. Let's take a look at our Yeah, see there's no other enemies around, it's just the sentries, which is interesting. I wonder if there's anything on there we can loot. We'll take a look at a couple of them just to see. Alright. Last one. And it's down. Okay. Now, let's take a look-see at this um, common ore site. And see if it's got anything good on it, like as in platinum. Oh, we wanted to look at uh, one of the sentries, too, to see if there was anything possibly good on it. Um, let's go check out this ion sentry here first. Below our drone port here. There we go. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably not really anything on here that we can that we can get that's going to be you know valuable. I'm thinking. I mean, I just see some blocks, and I guess the cannon itself is there. What would that? Here, let's try something. We go into here, and we connect to. Ah, where is decon input? I probably don't have it because it probably got reset when we repaired to template. What I need to obviously do is rename everything, get it grouped properly, and then save to template again. So I need to get that done. So yeah, I'm not sure which one it is, but let's just put this into the main output for now. And we'll just retrieve it whole, because what I want to do is I want to throw it in the deconstructor and see what kind of materials it'll actually give us. Okay. Um, so let's run downstairs really quick and look at that. We need to take a hit of O2 as well. Uh, right here. Okay, so let's see. You are connected to framed commercial container one. So this one here is supposed to be our input container. I think, didn't we, we made it like a, a decon group, I think, before, right? So let's, uh... All this decon and we want to move this to um, wait no we got to do it this way first I think okay and then let's also move the deconstructor itself to the last group and this to the last group this other container is actually what we use to store our our portable um, repair bay. So for that one, well, let's just add it to cargo boxes so we can name it. Okay, so uh, this is decon in. Whoops. And this is decon out. And this is um, repair uh, uh, platform, I guess. I'm not. I don't remember exactly what I named that, but we'll just call it repair platform storage. Um. It's almost not even really necessary to have that because I just, you know, put everything back in the factory anyways. And see, it's already ready for us to... Already ready. <laughs> it's already for us to uh, spawn when we need it. Okay, now, let's go back to here. And that's already set to decon input. So look at everything that's in the decon output. This is all... And this isn't all of it either. This is just what I was able to fit in. We got some really good loot from the... You know, the big giant space shuttle that we did a couple episodes ago? I mean, look at this. Holy crap. And, again, I didn't feed everything in here. I couldn't fit everything in here. So we still have a lot of stuff in the main output that's waiting to be fed into the decon uh, constructor. So, really cool. I think this laser turret here is probably what we got. I'm almost certain that that's what we got when we lifted the, um, uh, the ion turret. So, okay, so that's basically, that turns into a player laser turret. While we're here, let's go ahead and, and continue. What I want to do is I want to leave everything in here, well, at least as much as we can, 
So we kind of see what the final ish tally was, um, you know, from that salvage that we got. But that's, I mean, it's already some pretty amazing stuff, right? So let's see, what else? We got, uh, let's throw the generators in there. Uh, the advanced constructors. I want to put, you know, some of the more valuable-ish stuff in there. Well, that's all it's going to fit. All right, well, we'll let that melt down. Uh, you are turned on, right? Yes. We'll let that melt down, and then we'll just keep feeding that. And then, you know, once I get everything fed into there that we salvaged from the large space shuttle, uh, we'll, we'll see what the final count on the salvage was. But, I mean, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. I mean, that's some good stuff. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's we're going to do one more thing before we wrap up this episode here. Um, because the episodes are coming a little more infrequently, I'm making them a little longer, so hopefully everybody's cool with that. But uh, we just want to see what is on this um, uh, mining site place here. It might just be basic stuff, or there might actually be some platinum here. We'll just have to see. Common ore site. Let's make sure there's no nasties around. That looks like silicon from here, but I'm not I'm not hundred percent positive, so what do I have on? I've got an EVA boost, radiation shielding, and an insulation boost. Okay. We'll just pop out the drone port and take a quick look. If this is platinum. Whoo, baby. Been a long time coming. If it isn't, then damn it, it's not. <laughs> All right, let's head on up here. Let's get our drill. Mr. Drill, where are you? Laser drill. Yeah, that looks like silicon. Five silicon ore. Okay, so is that... All this is is silicon? I, it looks like that's all it is. Dog on it. Okay. I mean, I'm not seeing... You're about to... Yeah, who cares? I'm not seeing anything... Any other... You know, color other than silicon. I think... Wait, what's this? That's just stone. Okay. Okay. Wasn't sure because it kind of had a little bit different texture to it. Yeah, it looks like this is just silicon, man. All right, well, dock on it. it. Is what it is. Where's my ship, dude? Where's my ship? Oh, it's over this way. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go here. Um, at least we got a, a little bit of excitement in towards the end of the episode here. We got to blow up some Xerox turrets and stuff. Uh, but you know, it's pretty much just gonna continue to be, you know, to be us traveling, uh, exploring, and moving towards our goals of finishing the Dead Planet mission and working towards Object 1. So, yep, yeah, I'll, um, like I said, I'll keep, uh, probably keep to, let's turn that off, you know, two to three episodes a week for now, uh, until I kind of get through this really busy period with my job, and then hopefully, you know, I'll have some more time to, um, you know, to, to pick it up again so we have a little bit more frequent releases of uh, of Imperion, okay? Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.